pot, so we're good to go. Um, well, I'll just start out on Sure. Um, um, this is Jeremy Spencer with Allen, Georgia, at Glenn County. I'm here with Mayor uh, Cornell Harvey to discuss the possible legal remedy to alleviate some, some tax burden on the citizens of Brunswick concerning the, uh, I guess this is concerning the fire fund, is that correct? Yes, basically it's concerning the capital fee fund that they, uh, they use. They use that fee to purchase uh, public safety vehicles, uh, of which we have our own public safety vehicles. So I, I saw that as a uh, gross concern of uh, people having to be taxed or they should not be taxed, mm -hmm. especially in the city. And how 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 much higher are they going on the millage rate? Well, they're they going on the millage rate. Um, uh, this this matter of fact, uh, the millage rate that they're going up to, I think one point four uh, mills uh, has really uh, what I'm concerned about has nothing to do with uh, do with the capital fees because that's mm -hmm. something they they put in place uh, some years ago and no one really challenged them on it. Um, but it just happened to be brought out now because they have raised their millage rate. Uh, which would cause the city to have have extra uh, pay extra taxes as well. Mm -hmm. So when everybody in Glen County has to pay extra taxes, but uh, um, to alleviate some of that uh, stress, I think the city um, resident does not need to be paying for the capital fees. Okay, and how much more would this raise the residents' bill on this? Uh, I, I really don't know, but I think it was uh, about. Um, I think it was seven percent. They said uh, you know different uh, areas had different um, uh, percentage points. I think that's what they were saying. However, as I said before, uh, I think once we get if we can really negotiate that uh, capital fee uh, um, millage rate, which is right now is uh, point point four nine, mm -hmm. um, almost half a mill that really the citizens of Brown should not be paying for. And. Um how long has the county been doing this? Uh, it's, it's been some time. It, it, it's been, I, I would say, over, I, I know, I know for four years uh, because um, the county instituted that uh, when splots, uh, that splot did not pass, uh, basically, basically because it said uh, it was uh, because uh, the public safety vehicles they wanted to buy and whatever, it shouldn't be on splot. So the county figured out a way that they don't have to do it that way. They can uh, just add an extra meal half a mil and get paid for it that way mm -hmm. instead of paying, paying out the general fund. So there's, are they specifically using this millage increase uh, for the fire fund just for, just for equipment or is it for uh, firefighters as well? Well, uh, I told you this is capital, okay. it's a capital uh, project uh, fee. It's not uh, the fire fund. The fire fund, um, they use that to pay, help for, pay for fire uh, issues. Uh, but according to uh, Alan Hours, who was the county manager, he stated that they buy uh, out of this capital improvement fund, uh, they buy uh, equipment for fire, fire, firefighters. They also purchase um, vehicles, uh, fire trucks. They also purchase safety vehicles for the police and so forth like that. So they do use a lot of uh, that whole fund is, is geared towards that end. And I'm trying to tell them that um, we have our own, so we don't really need to have the have that being assessed to the citizens of Brunswick. So is this is would this consider be a double tax? I, I I consider it to be a double tax, you know, and uh, as I said, you know, our legal office would be checking and see how far, you know, see what it is and, and what our remedy. Our remedy may be for uh, as they go back and check and see the things that they have purchased um, for to be reimbursed uh, for that. And it may be a, a reimbursement. And that reimbursement, we will use that reimbursement more likely to uh, help do some of the things with our senior citizen center. And uh, how far back would y'all go to get restitution for these? Well, we need to go back as far as when they first instituted it. And I think it's been, uh, I would want to say about six years. I'm not uh, actually uh, factual on that, but I do know it's been over four years. It's been, been in place since, since, I've been, since I've been the mayor. And you came in in 2014? Yes, I did. Okay. okay. And I've been looking at that, and finally, um, um, I've had an avenue now to, to really to address that. And how much money are we talking about here? Um, it, it's not so, so much uh, that much. Uh, I'd say half a mil, it all depends on your property, uh, mm -hmm. what, what it is. Uh, I haven't calculated it yet. Uh, I can have my uh, accounting department do that. Um, and, and a matter of fact, and we will. Um, 
um, if we have to go for an open record request to, to get information, but the information is public information anyhow, so I'm, I'm pretty sure it's out there as to, you know, what they, you know, we all open, we all work in the openness for the government anyhow, so, so the information is there as to, you know, the purchase of, of their, their um, public safety vehicles. So I'm, I'm, I'm really, I, I know, um, um, they, they're going to work with the city, you know, to try to work it out. That's what we should do anyhow, because okay. we both are stewards of, of the, this community. Has anybody from the county, besides the county manager, any of the county commissioners reached out to you since you made those comments? Yes, as a matter of fact, uh, Commissioner uh, Peter Murphy uh, did, uh, and he wanted to get a better understanding of it too, and and, and I, I really applaud him for, for doing that. Um, so I'm pretty sure he and I will sit down and talk. I think Commissioner Mark uh, Stumbach, mm -hmm. you know, he has talked to me briefly about it, about those things too. Um, Commissioner Booker. I, I, I mentioned this to uh, Commissioner Browning. Uh, I told him that I will be coming for the, the county commission to discuss these issues. Uh, I, I wasn't trying to catch anybody off the guard. I want to be, be straight up um, up front. Um, I talked with Alan Hours, the county manager. Uh, told him that's just something uh, we're going to do. And he, he told me, quite frankly, that um, they use that fund to uh, pay for other things, too. You know, and he, he actually said some things that we pay for that, you know, the city benefit from it. Mm -hmm. I said, I'm pretty sure that's true, more than likely. I said, but however, there's other things on that, in that fund that they purchased that we have no need mm -hmm. for, such as police, police vehicles. We, we purchase our own. You know, okay. we have to go through the, right. you know, uh, taxing our citizens to pay for our own. So why should we have to pay for the counties when we don't get any benefit from it? Okay. So. Um, my, do you think this is a, it, and this is just me kind of speculating here, and, and that's why I wanted to get some confirmation. Do you think this is a, a way of wanting to get consolidation efforts underway, or is this? Uh, um, well, you know, I, I don't know. I, as a matter of fact, it flies in the face of consolidation because it shows that, uh, you know, one government is maybe uh, uh, doing something against uh, another uh, without uh, really uh, considering, you know, uh, all, the, all the facts or whatever it is. You know, I, I think um, when governments work together and they start helping each other instead of, uh, you know, trying to, I guess, use one another, I'll say, mm -hmm. uh, then that's, that's when you really get true consolidation. Consolidation is when two governments agree uh, equally to go into consolidation, not necessarily when one government seems to overshadow another mm -hmm. one and just, just gonna, you know, um, dictate what goes on. Right. So and that, that's how a lot of our residents in the city of Brunswick feel that the county county doesn't help the city do very many other things, so many things. Um, so we need to uh, get on equal footing and then we'll be, well, I guess, mutually respect for each other. Mm -hmm. um, however, the county and, and the city does things together uh, really nice as far as um, uh, police forces, um, you know, um, drug enforcement, um, joint task force and so forth. They do that well. Fire department, you know, they, they come, they have a mutual aid agreement. so. They, they, they really does things together. But I, I think uh, as we move forward with um, equitable um, um, agreements, then eventually I think we will probably end up in consolidation. But as of right now, we are at the opposite ends of consolidation. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I do appreciate your time, and, uh, and I'd like to talk to you some more um, about this, this process because I feel like this is going to be a... a process that people need to be aware of, especially the citizens of Brunswick, and I do appreciate your time. Okay, well, let me, before you go, let me just say one more thing. Uh, uh, one of the reasons why this came up, too, is because uh, Georgia Municipal Association uh, has uh, appointed me to be on a task force for uh, tax reform, uh, okay. property tax reform, uh, and dealing with our tax commissioner as well, you know, and... Um, we found out that the city of Brunswick uh, uh, pays uh, enormous prices for the property taxes um, uh, per parcel, so to speak, for uh, other cities of its size, uh, and for for the collection of that property tax. Excuse me, for the collection of that, mm -hmm. uh, we pay that to Glen County and also to our tax commissioner. So uh, the city of Brunswick uh, tried to go into to renegotiate that contract, and to, to be fair and equitable, that we felt was a uh, listen, looking at uh, other cities of, of comparable size across the state, however, uh, we were not. We were met with um, no uh, no compromise and no. Uh, uh, they didn't want to look at it. So, 
Um, so who, who didn't want to look at it? Uh, the county decided, you know, we, we're mm -hmm. going to pay what we paid. The tax commissioner uh, decided to keep his fee at what it was. Mm -hmm. uh, so that kind of pushed us into now we need to, uh, we're looking at the feasibility of uh, collecting our own property taxes. Okay. Um, and it really didn't have to be that way. So as you look at it, it was consolidated in the beginning. Now we've been pushed to. So now we're back pushing to, back. Yeah, pushing back to back. Uh, jurisdictional yeah. yes. tax, and tax collecting. Yes, okay. yes, instead of, uh, instead of, instead of that. Mm -hmm. Now, it, once the city get their, their tax um, collection um, up and running, which we, we, which we are doing, you know, maybe the city need to take a look at maybe collecting the school board tax. Well, if let, let me let me go further with that. That's a good thing that you brought up there. If if the city of Brunswick was to, to go back doing for their own jurisdictional purposes, doing their own tax sure. collections and even doing their own school board uh, collections, would they run a city school district and would they run would they would they uh, bring in their own in house elect their own in house tax commissioner for the city, and not you know uh, elect the not have the citizens elect a county tax commissioner? Well, the county tax commissioner is for the county for our mm -hmm. whole county. Uh, the the city doesn't have a school school district anyhow. So mm -hmm. um, that was just something thrown in mm -hmm. there. If uh, the the school board has to pay the county uh, a certain amount of money for mm -hmm. for for collection of their taxes. And since we are new, we, we're beginning to maybe we can do, we might be able to do it cheaper mm -hmm. since we are, because we are starting, starting something new. However, I realize the tax commission have been there for a while. They know the process. They've been doing mm -hmm. things, you know, but like I said, sometimes someone come in new, they'd be able to make, be able to do it more efficiently because they, they are doing things mm -hmm. that realize they don't have to do everything as somebody else does it. Um, as far as uh, collecting, um, there being a, a tax commissioner, uh, according to our charter, you know, we, we have a, a tax commissioner because we was collecting our taxes before. Mm -hmm. Each city collected their taxes before. They're, they're, it's in their charter. Now, you can uh, um, outsource that, which a number of cities does, to uh, the county tax commissioner because it's a constitutional officer. Mm -hmm. uh, however, uh, the city decided to bring it back in-house. One of the reasons why the city uh, decided to outsource it with the county previously was because our collection rate was, was not as, as high as the county collection rate. In other words, let's say I think our collection rate was something like 85%. The county tax uh, uh, collection rate was something like 96, 97% rate. So I'm just saying yeah. that's just throwing numbers yeah. out there. So therefore, <laughs> therefore we went, we went with mm -hmm. that. Um, and it has, it has fared as well. Uh, however, uh, during negotiation, and it should be negotiated every year as to uh, what that rate should be. Uh, that rate's been set for over uh, 10 years, I know, maybe more. Um, and now it's, it's getting, it should be economies of scale, it should be cheaper as it go along mm -hmm. because of, you know, uh, uh, repetition, so to speak. So, um, but this, the city has no um, recourse now but to. Uh, collecting all taxes because we have been priced out, so to speak. Okay. The price of it is, is, is grossly out. Are other cities trying to do that across Georgia too? I don't know, but I'm pretty sure other cities are looking at us, uh, mm -hmm. looking at looking at what we do and how we do things. Uh, one thing about um, the city of Brunswick is that we're not afraid to go out and, and, and step out on our own. We have to. We don't want to all the time, but, we, but we're not afraid to do that. You know, we, we know we are sitting and everybody, if they're looking at us, so be it. But we're going to fail, fail by doing instead of fail by, by not doing anything at all, if we fail. But in actuality, uh, it's calculated as we, um, as we do things. Uh, I, don't, I don't think we're going to fail in what we do. You know, we're going to have um, good uh, uh, processes, so to speak. Uh, and I feel that, that we're going to be able to, to to do what we need to do. So do you think by bringing the, the tax collection collection process back into City Hall, do you think it'd be more efficient yes. for you guys? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. It'd be more efficient and, uh, and we have um, we have people who are uh, who are adequately who can, who can do those functions um, and uh, it, it'd be better for us. Uh, we'll have a better handle on it. Now, previously, previous administration uh, let something get, let a couple things get lax. Mm -hmm. But we're not for that now. We we are here for streamlining our processes 
and making sure that they, they work. So. Okay. All right. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. Thank you for All your right. time. Thank you.